Greetings everyone. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about one thing that is lacking in my operation and that is the availability of winter pasture to graze in the uh, mid to late winter portion of the grazing season and I'm missing that portion from a grazing perspective. I've got some pretty good clover stands um, on the pastures that I own but not excellent and I want to improve that so I wanted to take the opportunity today to share with you my plan on a little 15 acre tract that a neighbor is letting me borrow. So this is a 15 acre tract as I've said that one of my neighbors has graciously allowed me to use and this little tract was totally overgrown by weeds. We came in and shredded it you can see the, the lines of where the shredders come through and this was late, uh, late summer early fall that we shredded it. Just trying to get the weeds down and get some organic matter on the soil but you can see we have a lot of bare ground and we're here in early December and the thing I want you to see is it's been warm this uh, supposed winter so far it's going to be almost 80 degrees today you can see a little patch of coastal that that is on this place and then up on the hill you can see some bahia grass that's still green but the rest of this property is just native grasses and weed stems so in an attempt to get some grazing out of this property and improve the uh, soil profile try to build some soil I'm gonna do two things hopefully over the course of this winter one is I'm gonna have our local um, farm and ranch outlet come out and put some ryegrass seed out and we're going to put down 25 pounds of ryegrass to the acre just broadcast it and then um, pending how that's coming along on some of these more bare spots it's likely I'll unroll some hay um, as we go and let the cattle eat the hay so I want to show you uh, where we're starting and then we'll give you some updates as we go. But this is a nice little pasture, it's got a real nice little section of woods for the cattle to get in, get out of the weather if it gets real cold, if I have them up here during any cold spells. We're up on top of a hill and so the wind does blow pretty good here when the northers come through. Um, but this is going to be a uh, attempt to get some really good grazing hopefully for four to eight weeks this spring uh, or late winter hopefully and we'll conserve on hay and try to get things going. This is December 14th. The grass was planted December 9th. So we shouldn't have had time to germinate to any great degree. Usually takes seven to 10 days. So probably nothing yet that is ryegrass related. So 
this is day 13. And you can really see rye grass starting to come out. Green tinge everywhere. Update December 25th, 2021. You can see how the rye grass is really starting to come. It's going to start popping pretty good fairly quickly. You can't see it down there in all that brown too well, but where the bare spots are, it's starting to look pretty good. So we'll see what it looks like in another week or so. Here we are, December 31st. Same spot we always video from. You can see we're starting to get quite a bit more tints of green out there. And in the near field, obviously, you can see things are happening. When I come back here and point down this little lane, that's really coming on. So we'll keep you updated. I'm hoping we get a really good stand. These experiments are always just that, experiments of sorts. I didn't scratch the soil. I didn't disc anything. I didn't run a harrow but we're making some progress so I'll keep you updated. Nothing much happened over the course of the last two and a half months. It got really cold and the ryegrass just shut down so this is where we are at this point. Well it's coming along. I'm not going to get near the grazing out of this that I had hoped but we're getting some rye grass coming not near as thick as I'd hoped but again this was basically just sugar sand and so I did not no-till drill it in which would have been helpful I just broadcast it so we'll give it another month probably and then I'm gonna drive the cattle up the road or call them up the road and we'll let them have this for however long a period it'll last I'll probably split it into two sections and graze half and then swap them over to the other side and then move them back home. So not as good as I had hoped, but probably better than nothing. And I'm going to try another little experiment this fall and no-till drill in some Chisholm fescue the seed producer in southern Oklahoma says it should do okay in this climate and I'm very anxious for some winter forage um, opportunities and unfortunately the ryegrass that's a spring uh, grass after it warms up again I'd like something over the winter so I'm going to see what that'll do you can't learn unless you try. Unfortunately, I'll spend a little bit of money doing that, but I'm willing to do that to see if we can make some progress. So that's my ryegrass video. Um, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. This may get better over the course of the next 30 days, and we'll see. But I think what I have is what I have. Those yellow flowers are a winter weed. It's called Texas ragwort. And those will die here in the next couple of weeks, and that'll, that'll all be gone. Not that it matters, but anyway, that's my ryegrass video. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for riding along with me.